U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell warned last month that taming inflation would be painful, and it's proving so. At today's meeting, the committee raised the target range for the federal funds rate by three quarters of a percentage point, bringing the target range to three to three and a quarter percent. That benchmark interest rate is now at its highest since before the 2008 global financial crash. And it means that at more than 6%, the average US mortgage rate is now at its highest since that period, a major household expense that keeps rising, along with gasoline. And those gasoline prices are inching up again, if only marginally. The average price of a gallon of gasoline rising just under a cent to $3.68 this Wednesday, and a little higher at this gas station here in Washington, D.C. Nevertheless, that's broken nearly 100 consecutive days of declines after gas prices hit the highest level on record. And those declines had helped the White House argue that the U.S. was getting on top of the highest inflation for 40 years. The headline inflation rate has dipped from its peak of 9.1% in June. But many economists say the latest data suggests price rises have permeated all sectors of the economy, partly due to robust consumer spending fueled by low unemployment. So there's concern Powell may have to effectively force layoffs by raising that main interest rate high enough to make financial conditions tougher for employers. The question is, how high? At some point, as the stance of monetary policy tightens further, it will become appropriate to slow the pace of increases while we assess how our cumulative policy adjustments are affecting the economy and inflation. One study suggests the Fed will need to push unemployment far higher than its projected 4.1% in order to bring inflation down to its target rate of around 2%. Owen Fairclough, CDTN, Washington.